All right, y'all. So we're back with another video. And in this one, we'll be talking about something pretty interesting. So on my last video, I got a comment that said, VV doesn't have to do anything. Narrative will carry them. So this is interesting. This is an interesting perspective. And obviously, this is going to be the narrative that gets spun because a lot of people have a lot of money into this and they can't they, they can't allow the project to be bad or to to fail. So they have to tell themselves something, you know, to to make it seem like things are not looking as bad as they are. Vivi has lied. Vivi has blatantly admitted to their lies now. I mean, they have at least confessed and and they're attempting to change things. And I hope that is sincere and genuine and they actually take a better route and path moving into the future. But it doesn't change the reality. And when we were sitting here pointing out how they were lying, how the things was untrue, everybody's attacking us like we're the villains because we're pointing out the truth. And then now that Vivi has actually come out and spoke on it themselves and admitted certain truths. So this narrative that narrative is what's going to carry Vivi, that couldn't be farther from the truth. People's mindset is stuck in a perspective where you haven't been researching, you haven't been doing your due diligence, you haven't been looking at what else is out there, how the space is evolving, how the space is changing. The last time the NFT boom happened, a lot of people were uneducated, celebrities was jumping in, everybody jumped into the NFT craze, and the word NFT just became a huge buzzword, which means that these narratives don't come again. Like, they're not gonna just keep coming because people lost so much before. Because unlike before, Nobody, during the last NFT boom, nobody could have said, no, yo, I invested in NFTs before and I got screwed. No one could have said that before. Now, for every boom that happens in the future, there's going to be a group of people, oh, I lost thousands of dollars. I've lost tens of thousands of dollars. I lost millions. Even celebrities lost money. And it's like, these narratives already exist now. So th that can never be undone. So having this expectation that narrative can carry something, no, we're moving into a future where companies is gonna have to show me. You gotta show me what your project can do. People wanna talk about certain meme coins and talk about certain things and how certain stuff don't need narratives. It's, it's certain stuff still pumps and stuff like that. It's like, it doesn't matter that there's these anomaly outlier events that's heavily manipulated by the way, um, people with a lot of money and power manipulate a lot of stuff in crypto right now. But the cryptos that's here to stay, the cryptos that has the longevity and actually going to last, those cryptos are all, they always solve a major problem like Bitcoin. Bitcoin is, is one of the safest investments because of how massive the problem it is. It solves. This is a massive problem in the world and that problem is not going to go away no matter how many band-aids they put on it. The Bit Bitcoin solves a very, very big issue in the world. Um, and, and eventually this system, that the system that we have in the United States, the, the system that, that, that we live in now, it's going to fail, it's going to crash and it's going to fall. And Bitcoin is a solution, it's the solution to this problem. And this is why so many people are starting to bet on it, are betting on it. This is why the government has to speak on it now. Um, this is all just a game. It's a game of manipulation and a game of you know, it's, it's, it's people, people prey on your ignorance, on your, on your lack of understanding, on your, on your lack of research. That's, that's, an, that's a huge issue. We are like, we, I always said that utility was going to be a big deal. Utility is what's going to bring things forward. Like the narrative that, oh, Marvel, Marvel is, is with VV. That company is partnered with Vivi. That company is partnered with Vivi. Look at how many, what, they, they t let them tell it. Millions of people have given up and quit Vivi. The narrative is still there. So why are, why is the community in shambles? That, that doesn't really make sense. Like, if the narrative is still there, why has the community fallen this hard? Why, 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 why has things changed so drastically? because that narrative should be all it takes, right? And you may be thinking, oh, well, these new people that come in, all they have to do is believe the narrative. All they have to do is believe and see it that way. 
there's an army of people out here. There's videos like this one right here. There's other videos I've created and there's other videos other content creators have not created as well. Like I said, the, the counter narrative is already there. The counter viewpoints from what we have experienced and what we have lived through because of the way that this team has operated, this already exists. So it will forever be those people here who explain the lies that, that has happened with this company. Now, if this company starts to move the right way, those narratives can change and can become better, but it doesn't change the damage that's already been done. Moving into the future, utility is going to be what drives everything. Everything that you hold, everything that you have is going to have to do something. You're using these old school examples, this old comic books, they never had to have utility before. They never had to do anything before. People just keep it in plastic. Oh, you know, Pokemon cards, they never needed utility. This was valuable for this reason. This is just how collecting always has been. People aren't thinking about what collecting is going to be in the future. Because what happens when the first company comes out and actually delivers what VV promises? Where you can collect your favorite IPs and brands and they do something. And they comes with a utility and it's more than just a narrative. What happens when there's utility? That's the reason that Fortnite has been successful partnering with these IPs and brands. That's the reason that a lot of games partner with these IPs and brands. These, the, like the brands are a huge narrative for every game, for every everyone who wants to, you know, buy the rights to use that IP. It's, it, it does create a narrative, it creates a buzz. But after you have that narrative and after you have that buzz, you have to do something. What you deliver is what people are gonna judge your product based on. BV has a reputation now for not delivering. So it's not enough. It's not enough at all to just say, oh, the narrative is going to carry VV. That's all that that's needed is, you know, people to, you know, believe it. No, because we're moving right now. We're, we're coming from a time. You're the stuff, the arguments that you all use, Pokemon cards, comics. We're coming from a time where it was fine to have no utility because the world was that boring. We have social media has risen. There's, there's, there's movies, there's Netflix, there's all this other stuff taking the attention from people these days. And you think a collectible that does nothing is gonna be what draws in the masses? How? How is that gonna draw in the masses in this current environment and economy? How, how, how is something that does nothing gonna draw in everyone? Oh, you can walk around this room. Let's see you take your girl to a museum, the same museum and walk around that museum every single day. Let's see how long that date lasts. Let's see how long she she enjoys you. Let's see how long let's see how long you keep a girlfriend. If that's if that's your if that's what you, you know, if that's what you that's how you treat her. You 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 want different experiences. Now you can say, "Oh, all the VV fans are going to create different showrooms. Take her to a different VV showroom every day and let's see how long that lasts." Like the reality is People like experiences, people like fun. People do like to socialize and communicate and connect in that way, but there has to be more. Vivi doesn't offer more. Vivi isn't bringing more. Now, will they in the future? That's the only hope for this project and for this company. If they actually deliver upon utility and having NFTs that actually do something. If they don't wake up to the realization that their NFTs and products need to do something, like. They've taken all this time just to simply upload their NFTs. If their NFTs don't do something, if it doesn't come with games, the attention is going to go elsewhere. That's just how it is. GTA 6 is coming out. Black Ops 6 just came out. Um, it's just, it's so much stuff. TikTok, you got TikTok, YouTube, Facebook. Well, who knows what social media platform is gonna come out next. You got all threads is the latest one. It's all types of stuff taking up people's attention these days. VV is in a battle for attention and Marvel is everywhere. Marvel and all these brands VV have is everywhere. You can preach the whole ownership things, but this is the internet age. Who wants to own something on the internet that does nothing? This is the internet age. Everything on the internet does something. It's a lot of utilities tied to things on the internet. If I buy a skin in Call of Duty, I can wear it, I can put a skin on my gun, I can run around, 
I can play Team Deathmatch. I can play Hardpoint. I can play. I can play Search and Destroy. I can go play Zombies. I can do all this stuff with a skin in Call of Duty. What can I do if I buy something on VV? Why would the value in something like that increase? Oh, it was the first thing there. Just because something is the first thing. Like, that's an old school narrative, an old school mindset. And that's a mindset that's going to cost a lot of people a lot of money if you can't see that the world is advancing where you now have to start offering more. Think about your content creation in YouTube. Like, I know a lot of people probably don't even consume content outside of finance and business content, but look at the most successful creator on YouTube, Mr. Beast. Look at his content. His content has editing and so much entertainment value added in every few seconds. He has sound effects. He has stuff flying across the screen and exploding. He has audio that, that like, he has visuals. There's so many different elements and stuff that he's mixing together. When you used to be able to just do videos like this and talk, even in the gaming community, and these videos would do fine, just talking. But no, like the reason that these videos are fine here is because it's educational, it's business, this is investing, it's, it's a different mindset. We're looking for value in things that's being said. We're looking in changes of perspective, growth and level ups. That's what we're looking for. That's why we're willing to, you know, hear people out and hear the things that people say and their opinions and stuff like that. In gaming, in the audience you're trying to attract the VV, ain't nobody trying to hear this shit. Who's going to sit around, who's going to come from Call of Duty and sit around listening to how, how VV has screwed people over and stuff like that? It's like, no, they don't care about what I have to say. They don't care about none of that. They want to come on VV and see if they can have some fun with their friends. The truth is, with this, they cannot. They cannot come on. No narrative is going to, is going to make up for the lack of of anything that VV, VV has. Like, VV is lacking in every area. VV has nothing. They have the IP going for them, but who cares? IP that does nothing? This is the one place you can see Marvel and it don't do shit. No one's falling for the same NFT narratives. Moving into the future, NFTs are going to have to do things. VV cannot survive off of just narrative. So... Hopefully y'all don't fall for that. Hopefully y'all aren't listening to these influencers, like listening to influencers who's down millions of dollars and listening to people who have invested their whole life savings and everything into this project. When they come up with these bullshit narratives that's based around old school logic, not factoring in the future that we're moving towards, it's just illogical to even believe it. And then they're desperate, so they have to cling on to any slight piece of hope that they may have. It's, it's, it's more. There's more happening in the space. There's more to come. VV is taking forever to upload a bunch of images, to upload a bunch of models to platforms. People are out here building. It's going to be more fun things to do in the VV, in the um in the um crypto space, in the NFT space. It's going to be more fun things built and more fun things to do moving into the future. So if Vivi doesn't step it up and start building for the future, Vivi and this entire platform and this entire way of collecting you all love so much is going to be left in the past. People's attention spans are very low these days. And y'all who want to be disconnected, living in the old school nostalgia, old school nostalgia is very, very cool. But people are going to get distracted from that shit. It, does, it has no longevity if this doesn't become a new school modern approach to NFTs, which is what was promised from the beginning. So for everyone's sake, VV better be working on the things that they have promised, even if it's just, even if it's delayed. Because that's the only way this project survives. And they better hope that no one beats them to it with the way that they're, they're developing. They, like no one has as much IP as them, but it doesn't matter. One a company coming out with one branded IP and a lot to do with it, a, a lot of utility associated with it. Let a com let a company come out with Batman. You can run around the metaverse with them. You can play mini games with them. You can bet in their game in their in their currency. You can bet and play mini games and jump in a Batmobile and drive around. You can do all. Let some company come out with even one of the IPs and it just comes with a ton of utility. Come on now, you won't be feeling so confident in VV then. Like and that that's what people are are missing. Where would where where would most people rather be? A uh, well, company with one single IP, and it's a thousand different experiences, 
or a company with a thousand different IPs and the experience to walk around and send messages. Tell me where you'd rather be. You don't gotta be honest, but come on now, ain't nobody stupid. That's pretty much all we got for this one. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, Joe.